Hi guys, so this is going to be a nail tutorial. It's my first nail tutorial. Um, if you watched uh, the giveaway, you may have seen some pac nails and a lot of you guys said that I should make a video on this. So for today, I'm going to show you guys on um, these little fake nail things that I got um, and how you do the Pac-Man and how you can do the little monster. And then basically, I found that I'm using these two because the rest of it should be self-explanatory once I show you on this nail. So I want to start off with the things you're going to need. Um, and I'm going to show you in order. The thumbnail is going to be um, the Wet n Wild. This is the black nail polish, which is what I have here. And that's what you're going to use for the Pac-Man. And then this red one in Scarlet Spritey, which is just sort of like a, any red would do, but this is sort of a medium cherry red. Uh, so, and then for the rest of the nails, I use this one from China Glaze. And it's in order. And this one is an Electric Pineapple. You're going to need this sort of, um, this is by Remmel, and it's just like a pink, almost red undertone, so it goes really nice with that one, but it's still pink, so I didn't want it like, do a bubblegum pink, because then it pop out too much. Um, and then also you're going to need sort of a light blue color, this is a frosty kind of blue color from NYC, and finally a top coat, I used the Glosser uh, by Orly as my top coat. Then you're going to need either, you can use um, these little nail striper things, which uh, you're going to need a black one and a white nail striper. This is the one from Art Deco, but any brand is going to be just fine. And then also, um, you can have a yellow one if you don't have, also, as like I said, acrylic paint to go ahead and try to use this for the Pac-Man. But I found that this yellow one that comes with the Art Deco is a little bit more sheer, so I don't know if this one is going to be a good one to use. Um, but just to give me an idea. For this video, I'm going to be using acrylic paints. So for the acrylic paints, you're going to need a yellow, a black, and a white. And then for the brushes you're going to need is um, this 18, zero, whatever, that's the size brush. You can find, by the way, all these stuff at Michael's, the acrylic paint and these brushes. Um, and it's just a very thin point. And then also you're going to need um, this one, which is a 10.0 or a 10 slash zero. And it's sort of um, more, sorry, I'm like all over the place, uh, smaller spotter kind of um, brush tip but if you don't want to use that one you can use just one of the brushes to do all of the nails but this is just what I prefer just to get um, a neater look to the nails hopefully in the end result. Then you're also going to need a little container of water and the water that I just put is in this little sort of really small ceramic bowl so that when I go ahead, I can just clean off my brushes so none of the paint mixes. And then somewhere to put your paint on, which you can see I used this for earlier. Um, one of the nails that I want to show you I did today, I did this nail. Which took a while to do. Um, sort of this EGA inspired nails. I'm just going to go ahead now and start doing the design. You're going to need just a drop of each paint. A little paint goes a long way. I believe these acrylic paints are, can be found at Michael's, so if you want to give it a look. So here I put um, the colors that I'll be using, and the colors that I'll be using is this black, a yellow, and a white. And that's pretty much it. Now to start off, I'm going to do um, the little monster first, just because it's the one that's the fastest. So I'm going to use this little thin striped one and I'm going to dip some of it inside the white or excuse me inside the black like this just very very little and let me try to put it this way so you guys can really kind of see what I'm doing here And all I'm going to do, very simple, just draw like a little triangular shapes. 
and you don't have to have um, long nails to be able to do this you can use this with short nails too so I have regular stripes like that and then I just go ahead and fill them in and then make sure you get around here so that all of it shows up okay super easy you can do uh, three or less than that, it doesn't really matter. And then you dip it in the water to rinse your brush off. And then now I'm going to go ahead and go into... Now I'm going to go ahead and dip it into this white with this brush. The little small, little rounded, uh, chunkier looking brush, I guess you say. And dip it into the white. And very simply, I'm just going to go ahead and place a dot here, like so, grab some more, like that. So now you can see that his eyes are starting to come out and stuff like that. And then dip it into the black, and then you can make him looking to your left or you can make the little character look to your right, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think I'm going to make him look this way. Okay, and you may want to let the eyes dry a little before doing this, but... Okay, so now you have your little monster character and that's pretty much it and then now all that's left is to do your little pac-man character so for the pac-man as usually you can go on your thumb which I use the black one and now I'm going to take a little bit of the white and take a little bit of the yellow and mix it together and the reason I do this is because sometimes the yellow doesn't show up as well as I would like it to. It's a little bit more sheer. So if you add um, white into it, it makes it easier for it to appear on your nails. So now I have the yellow that I want, which is sort of a light yellow. And this is the way that I do it to make sure that it comes out right, but I mean, you don't have to do it this way. Uh, you could start off going like this. Okay. And then you kind of just fill it in, fill it in. And then I get, I just go now into a little bit of the black just to make, surround the outer edges with the black to make it a little bit neater. So that's what I'm going to do. And all I'm doing is drawing a thin line around the edge. To make sure that it's super crisp and clean. Like that. And then I take a little bit more of the black. And then just draw a little dot for the eye. Like that. And then rinse it off again on your brush. Because you don't want any of this stuff to stay on your brush. Or else it will get hardened. And that's basically it. That's how you get your Pac-Man looking nails. And that way it would be like this idiot. So yeah. And then just grab a top coat when it's dry and just place it on there. And you're done. So I want to show you guys a couple of nails that I did. I've been practicing on nail design and all that stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple of other designs that I did. I did this kind of design. This kind of design. 
which I learned these off of YouTube. And then my favorite NEGA. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really simple. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you try out the Pac-Man nails, feel free to tag me in this video. Just showing me uh, your nails or if you did them. And then, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.